Hi everyone and welcome back to the Rick Buds. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You join me today for a review of this amazingly beautiful set, set 43215, the Enchanted Treehouse. Now other people have referred to this as the Princess Battle Pack because it comes with 13 mini dolls. I will get to those later on because I want to go into those in depth because, I mean, there's a lot of them. But this is one of the Disney 100 sets. There's 1,016 pieces. It's £150 in the UK, $160 in the US, and it's just stunning. This really reminds me of the elves theme, because it's a tree, because of the colouring, like there was quite a lot of purple in the colouring of the elves sets. And if you know me well, you know that purple is my favourite colour, and therefore it's amazing. This sort of light aqua colour goes quite nicely with it. You've got different sort of gradients of purple, you've got the dark purple, the lavender, the whatever this one's called in... That might be medium lavender, this might just be lavender, I can't remember. But three different shades of like solid colour. Then you've got all of the sort of pinks, the magentas, the iridescent pieces, these purple ones that are properly sparkly. It's it's great. The only drawback I would say on the colour front is the coral. Coral is not my favourite colour, but I've attempted to see if there is any better option. And this leaf here, I've put some other colours on. These these two flowers here, not part of the set, just so you know. And I actually don't think anything really would have worked better than coral because otherwise it just sort of blends in too much. You get the sort of pop of colour with the coral. So although I hate coral, I can see the point of it this time. So I'll walk you through the set itself and all the play features and the interiors. The first one I'll show you really requires this wide angle. This part here, the long tubey bit, and there is in fact a small like, elephant trunk with a flower or leaf and butterfly on. The mini mini doll grabs onto that, loses her hair. We have a bald mini doll and that loops on at, with the trunk part and then whoop, down it goes. So that's one convenient way for the mini dolls to get to the other. They don't actually then go through this hole unless you've bent their legs up. I don't know if that helps. No, they don't come through the hole. You've got to imagine that part. So that's that feature. It makes the set kind of unwieldy having this joining together. So you can just unclip it and forget it even happened. I don't think it needs it. So we're getting rid of that. If you are planning on keeping that part though, this bit clips on, there's a little clip there for that to go into for storage and so it doesn't look sort of out of place. So that's quite well thought out. So let's go through the play features of the first half of the set. I have to say the build itself was really good fun. I built this on my Twitch streams. If you ever want to come find me on Twitch, I stream on Tuesdays at lunchtime, UK time. Right, so we've got a slide here. That's obviously a nice interactive feature. People go down that, Whoop. gone. There's a little cave under here, a little hidey hole. There's a spinning turntable there. There's some dancing, a little cog at the back to move. And there's a treasure chest under in this cave. I'm not sure about the two-tone treasure chest, if I'm honest. And I don't remember if there's any treasure inside. Let's check. A map. That's it. Little, little map. I do like some of the shapes they made. I love it when you end up with a circle in Lego. I don't know why. It's just one of my favourite things to see. And look, here's that, that sparkle of the iridescent piece. It's got a pattern on it. So I actually i am a stickler for using the instructions to get it exactly right. And so trying to work out the orientation for this was tricky, but I don't think it actually matters. So play features on the second part of the set. You've got a door here, which actually turns into a staircase. Oh, no, this is actually my favorite part. So you can kind of flick that round and there are the stairs. I think that looks absolutely beautiful. Really cool. You can put someone on this viewing platform here. And they can go and look around. Again, that's got a spinner. I don't really understand 
why she goes the whole way around I guess if you're if you're the lookout you've got to defend on all angles there's a climbing wall at the side here we can just grab onto that to climb up there you go and of course you can just use your imagination and put them on all the different levels so there's several levels here a balcony there and then a balcony up there as well some of the pieces in this set are amazing you've got the again the iridescence on the fern pieces that's the new fern piece that came in the lord of the rings set now recolored loving the gems as well that's got an iridescent to it iridescence to it and then you've got these little printed mushrooms which i think are super cute i love a, I love a good mushroom not so sure about the colouring on that with the magenta and the blue, but it obviously is in keeping with the sets. We've got some nice sticker pieces hit here with a log print on there for the little seats. The one thing I feel does detract a little is this window here that's blue and tan. I just don't think that goes with the rest of the colour scheme. It's very strange to me that they couldn't have found a different colour for that, but it's not too noticeable, but I, I would prefer it not to be like that. So let's take a look at the interiors. So the back of the building, you've got a little juice bar down the bottom there, a couple of drinks, a nice little sign, the blender itself. Second level, you've got this little fighting dummy, and that does come out it's just sort of clipped on and then you can play with that i think that's for mulan to do her training with a little cozy area for seating a little bulletin board raya and maybe mulan are friends there and then the rock piece a couple of drawers a few things in the drawers with like a little map and a pair of scissors over this side we've got Belle's little co cosy corner, she's got a place to sit and then lots of books, lots of little extra bits in there, so you've got the lamp for Jasmine in there, the shell maybe for Ariel, although she's not included in the set. And I think that brings us on to the minifigures and why they chose the ones they did. So there's 13 mini dolls, 11 of them are unique, and I was expecting them to all be princesses, so there are 13 Disney princesses technically I believe. That includes like Ariel and Snow White and Sleeping Beauty and Rapunzel, all of which aren't in this set. So I, I think Wendy and Alice being included was really unexpected. I'm not complaining. I do like to have the variety, but it, it was strange. The one I'm most excited about, though, is Pocahontas. We've been wanting a Pocahontas mini doll for ages. And so getting her finally, absolutely amazing. So... I'll go through all of the minifigures in turn. I don't really understand why Pocahontas has a compass. I'm not sure that's the best choice. But her torso is great. She's got that printing around the arm. Her hair piece is the same as the CMF Pocahontas we got this year. But obviously everything else is brand new. Apart from this um, skirt piece is a recolour of an elves piece. So, But it, it works really well. So Alice... Her hair came in the CMF, which I didn't realise. She's got, I assume, a looking glass. It's more of a magnifying glass, but I think that's why she's got that. I'm disappointed in this one because of the colouring. So you've got the white of the torso and then the printed white just doesn't match. I mean, the outfit is good, but I would have really liked to see that white to be consistent throughout. She's got a bow on the back as well. Anna comes with a marshmallow for toasting and... All of her pieces essentially come in the same two sets from before, but her face is new. So this is the new style eyes that they've suddenly brought out. They're a lot more sort of cartoony-fied. Well, I suppose they're always going to be cartoony-fied, but they're bigger, which is kind of closer to Disney. Disney always does big eyes, but I think it just gives them a weird look. I'm not overly keen on those eyes. I do love the hair piece, though. And you've got the jewel-coloured cape. Belle, who we are yet to see in minifigure form her face is new 
although it does also come in the recently released um, build your own castle that comes in like a dots box this is a brand new dress piece though but everything else we've had before Elsa has just got a brand new face she comes with a, like a little sprig of magic ice um, but her face is new but the rest all came in the Bruni poly bag that we got so I've obviously got a ton of those so it's not all that exciting to me Jasmine's gone all musical she comes with like a little liar I don't think that's overly suits her I don't remember her ever playing music in the film and again all of her pieces including the face come in other sets so this this face is is a newer face but it comes in the three princess set with the hot air balloon Mirabel matches the one that comes in the actual Encanto set the magical house apart from that face which is again newer slightly less smiley than that set I love the accordion though I think the accordion is great there's her torso beautiful minifig this one so Moana is one of the ones that is in no way unique she's in all three of the current Moana sets so the poly bag this one and the the boat that has her mum Mulan comes with a bow and arrow again slightly odd choice but I, I think she does use that at the, towards the end of the film and it's just her face that's new the rest we've seen before Raya has that new face with the bigger eyes and it says that she's got a new torso on Bricklink but I looked at the other to torsos and I cannot see any discernible difference from that the legs we've got slightly different boots to before Tiana's got a new face with the bigger eyes the hair piece is the same one that we saw on the Tiana minifigure and I don't know why she comes with a lantern again an odd accessory so Tinkerbell is one of the unexpected ones I wouldn't call her a Disney princess I like her outfit the hair is the same as we've seen in the Disney castle the original one and the new train her printed wings though look at those are absolutely gorgeous and she doesn't come with an accessory I guess because she's a brand new mini doll they just didn't feel the need to make her more exciting and finally Wendy again she's a brand new mini doll so she doesn't come with an accessory but it's all new outfit all new face in fact all new the hair piece is new as well and look at it that is my favorite part those little ringlets the blue bow comes in other sets but the hair itself so you could change her coloring if you wanted to she looks fantastic so obviously if you've taken off the bar piece this the bit that connects them you've got a lot more maneuverability i personally like that because it's, the height goes sort of down towards that edge and also you've got the water on the side so you can add in a little canoe piece which has got fittings for mini dolls to go into fits nicely there and it, it is just beautiful is it worth the 150 pound price tag i'm not entirely sure so it was only eight bags worth of lego it took me three weeks of live streams to do but those are only like 45 minutes long so it's not the most complicated build and a lot of it is sort of adding on the leaves and things there's not it's not very substantial but it does come with 13 mini dolls i think that's obviously where the cost is so my daughters can't wait to get their hands on this set and to play with it so it obviously is doing its job and appealing to the right sort of target audience but it also appeals to me because of that elves sort of spin and the the coloring let me know in the comments below what you think of it and whether you will be purchasing it as well i think we're going to be putting it into our elves diorama also if you want to see any more disney reviews i'll link up our lego disney playlist at the end and don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update see you later